All right, good day, everybody. Hanging out here at Premier, doing a little bit of uh, evening work on my own coach. So we've got my 96 country coach intrigue here. We'll go over a couple things real quick. Have the detailer come by, touch up the wheels, get that full bling going on. Had him use uh, some of the, I think it's Zephyr aluminum polish. I'll put a link down below in the description of this for that polish. If you ever want to touch them up, works really good. Don't really need too much machine help. If you do need to, then uh, you can do that, but usually just do it by hand. Here's that rear one looking all gleam. Now I've had some people ask me before about the top hats. The top hats are available. This is not a pay promotion, but Iowa 80 truck supply. Now there's two different style lug nuts. There's going to be the older ones, which are larger. And then there's going to be the new metric ones. So you'll need to kind of figure out what style your coach has to be able to order those top, top hats appropriately. If I'm not mistaken, they do come in a chrome and in a stainless also. So let's get inside though. I know a lot of you are interested in this smart wheel upgrade. So we'll come inside. I've got that uh, cab chair in here. I had to move the holes back actually for this. So I've come and put this piece of carpet in here to fill where I had to fix my boo-boo on my floor, which doesn't concern me too much because usually I throw something here and down on here. And now that way when I hit the brakes, they won't just slide off onto the floor compared to the solid surface. And you're not really see that anyway under the couch there. So we've got this couch in here. This one will end up being recovered at some point, and this is a temporary couch to get by until the other one is recovered, old blue, that came out of here. Window boxes haven't been done yet. Probably get on those next week. Trying to get this thing wrapped up enough just to take it out to the track for the weekend. But uh, <clears throat> here's that smart wheel. So there's about, I want to say I spent probably... Damn near 20 hours getting this smart wheel installed in here between the new column and then the wheel. And then in here you've got the VIP control module. Now, luckily enough for me, I ended up with a bunch of the control modules out of the auction. This was actually supposed to have been for 7045 and it was actually in a production um, panel that they'd already built. And I removed it and gutted the panel to sell the components. And ended up putting the component in here in mine. You'll see here I've got the Country Coach wire labels. Luckily I had a bunch of those left from rolls from one of my previous exes that used to work in the dash department hooked me up with. So as you'll see here, I've got all those labeled appropriately. Got the relays here for the headlight, the relay for the horn, and the horn fuse. And then I've actually updated the owner's manual with the blueprint. So this is going to be the chassis wiring for the VIP module. And then actually here is a factory country coach print that I've put in here. So that way, uh, per se, that I give this someone else after my part of care, being the caretaker of this fine unit is done, I can get that to them. And that way anybody can troubleshoot this if they need be. So you'll ask me, well, why did you spend 20 hours to put this in here? And that's for the cruise control now is here. Windshield wipers are here. And then I'm one of those courteous guys that likes to let the truckers know so I can give them a flash with the headlights or the clearance lights here. So that kind of covers that stuff. I've got the seat wired in now. The bolt holes for this side did land in the appropriate spot. So that's going to be just fine. As you can see, this is going to slide forward almost until it hits the column. And then I can slide it all the way back till it almost hits the seat here. And it's got the lower and the raise. <clears throat> nice benefit of the seats. It's going to have the heated massage and all that good stuff. So I've got all the modern knickknacks and goo now in my seats. I'll get that other one brought in here tomorrow. I'm going to go pick up some new bolts and get those mounted up in there and get the seats all tightened up the dash went to the paint shop today hopefully the end of the week or the middle of next week we'll get the dash back and be able to get the dash installed in here like i said i've got that corian that's going in here that piece of stainless 
that's going to go right across here will be available tomorrow. They got it done tonight, so we'll get it picked up over there tomorrow. So, um, some people had asked about the hard synthetic surfaces because Country Coach did not use Corian, but all those are going to polish the same ways. So, you're just going to want to do a YouTube video of um, polishing solid surfaces or po polishing Corians, and that's going to give you kind of an idea of about that stuff. So, everything's cruising along here. One of the next things is get this stupid overhead out of here, but I just want to get back out RVing. I've got to race this particular weekend, so I want to get this coach back out on the road. But I think that's all I've got for you today. Like I said, the smart wheel's in. I've got the steering shaft cover secured here. Need a little detail, get this kind of cleaned up. Got the clock spring in there. Got the hazards working. Got the turn signals. Another nice part of this column upgrade also is now I've got the high beam switch right here at the end. I don't have that pedal on the floor that I'm hunting for. Because, you know, usually uh, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Made me feel like I was driving an old 70s Chevy pickup with the high beams there on the floor. And then I've got my Jake brake on the floor also. So it was like I was doing a song and a dance down there and back and forth. So... This came out really nice. Luckily for me, I'm only into this project probably about 500 bucks. I had to buy a wheel. That was a couple hundred. I already had the cruise control buttons. Luckily, uh, Juan, one of my service technicians, had some Country Coach logos left over from when we were in the production days. So the first thing I did is pop that VIP one out of there and put the Country Coach one in there. So I'm super stoked on this. This is going to be a big driving thing. And I, when I drive, I drive for like 10 hours sometimes all the way to the tracks and whatnot. So this is going to be a big deal. No more reaching across to get to the wiper controls or reaching down here to the shift console for things. And then the high-low switch right there. Just a really modern, common feel. Whoa, hitting the horn. See, horn works. So nice common feel on this. All right, everybody. Hey, shoot me some comments. Tell you, me what you think about how this project's going. Don't forget to subscribe really close to that 5,000 mark. So if you can take the time to subscribe if you haven't. And uh, everybody, hope you're all having a great day. Till next time, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.